The Uganda Human Rights Commission today launched its 22nd and 23rd annual reports of the years 2019 and 2020 that were delayed by the death of their chairperson, Med Kagwa. The commission was led by its newly appointed chairperson, Mariam Wangadia. The function was graced by dignitaries including members of parliament, representatives from judiciary and civil society organizations. Congratulations. The reports entail issues of human rights violation exacerbated by COVID-19 including closure of schools, closure of places of worship, closure of transport among others. There was closure of all education institutions, suspension of all com communal places of worship, bars, restaurants, concerts, sports, political gatherings among others. The commission noted that while lockdown measures were put in place to contain and limit the virus transmission, there was significant social economic impact on the communities and individuals. The Commissioner Crispin Kahero via Zoom highlighted the violations of human rights that took place during the recently concluded elections. The Uganda Human Rights Commission noted with concern incidents of intimidation, incidents of violence, bribery, especially during political party primary elections. Violence and acts of a riotous nature, hate speech, misinformation, disinformation to an extent, disappearances and cases of torture of either candidates or their supporters, attacks against people dressed in political party colors, as well as the suspension of internet and social media services during the electoral period. The chairperson, Maria Mwangadia, however, dismissed the idea that government violates human rights. We have so many laws in place which are habitually uh, breached by individuals. It is not the state organs which detonate bombs and kill innocent people. So these are private individuals. So if there is any deteriorating state of human rights in the country, it's not committed by the state agents, but it's by private individuals. That is my observation. On the other hand, Commissioner Father Simon Lokodo spoke out against the discrimination of elderly persons facing a number of challenges like rape, theft, among others. From discrimination are violated. The older persons suffer abuses such as rape, theft, burglary, dispossession of property by individuals, families, or the community. They expressed concerns of criminalizing petty offenses like hawking, idle and disorderly, begging, among others. The representatives from the judiciary responded accordingly. Idle and disorderly, hawking, pouring the air, begging, among others. Uganda still maintain some of these petty offenses in a number of our laws and statutes. The Commission notes that these laws have adverse effects on the enjoyment of human rights by the poor, vulnerable, and marginalized groups. Petty offenses, I think, it was discussed extensively. I think it's a question of law reform. I believe the Law Reform Commission can carry out a study and assess those type of cases which we don't need in our law books but as the courts we have nothing to do at the moment we apply the law as it is the commission said it received 1281 complaints and 545 have so far been successfully investigated a number of petitions have been received including muslim profiling adams mayambala ctv pm edition